up, guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and it's episode 2 of my Q&A motherfucking Let's Play, but also episode 42 of my Krieg motherfucking Let's Play, and this is a series where I answer your questions. Unless I've answered that question a million motherfucking times, then we go through and we play games. It's what we do, man. Nothing really special about it. It's pretty straightforward. I've been doing this series for over a year now, and it seems to be uh, pretty popular with my subscribers. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get on with the motherfucking getting on. And the first question is from Mr. A77A71. That is a crazy name. He says, what's your favorite European vehicle? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I actually... You know what? I do know. If, if if Britain is considered in Europe, I would say my favorite European vehicle would be an old school Cosworth Escort. Them things were fucking beasts. And if you do them up right, you can have them bitches over 500 motherfucking horsepower. God damn. So, uh, I always wanted a Cosworth Escort, especially one with a big ugly fucking wing on the back. I love that shit. That shit is so ugly. It's like a big fuck you to everybody out there. It's like, yeah, my car is ugly, and you're going to get owned by it. So, fuck you, motherfucker. And uh, the next question is from Daniel Brown. He says, hey, Jay, I just come back from Download Festival in UK. What three main headliners would be perfect on your stage for a music festival? Uh, I would pick Slayer, Marilyn Manson... Uh, Korn, and just, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna throw Disturbed up there. I know a lot of people are like, wow, that is a very weird grouping. That's because these are bands that I've all thought sound better live than they do on their fucking actual CD. Especially, especially Slayer. Slayer sounds so much better live. They're like, hey, get up, bitch. I'm gonna have to fucking... Can I? Nope. Nope. This is the shitty part about being specked out for some melee, man. That fucking sucked. So, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my lumpy hand cannon on. But, uh, Daniel Brown, yes, those would be my four headliners for you. So, let's switch out a gun here. I, I don't want this anymore. Where, do I have anything that's actually... It's been such a long time. That I don't know what actually is a good weapon right now with, uh, you know, actually stat-wise. So, let's see, let's see how that does. That, that does a little bit better. Fuck it. But you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna go, we're just, we're just gonna go back to melee. I'm not, I'm tired of fucking trying to shoot bitches. I'll just take my deaths. It's no big deal. Fuck it. We're, we're just leveling up. It's not like we're fucking, oh, super pro fucking, you know, legit MLG fucking pub stomping here. No. We're just having a little bit of fun. Hey! Uh, thank you. Thank you for my free fucking badass rampage, bitch. So, yeah, let's move on. DSMSDJ1 says, If you could be any notable or historical figure for 24 hours, who would you be? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh... I'd probably want to be somebody from, like, American history. So, you know what? Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin was a pretty cool dude. He did some pretty good thing. Uh, I'd, I'd like to be some, uh, like to be Ben Franklin. Because Ben Franklin was a boss. You heard it first here. Ben Franklin is a boss. So, uh, the next question is from Minecraft Takeover. He says, does your son play any video games? Yeah, he does, but I don't. I don't want to go too into specific about anything about my son. Like I said, uh, oh shit, that is not good. These motherfuckers are huge level. What? Um, wow. We we might need to do some fucking leveling up, motherfucker. Damn, bitch. <laughs> ah, fuck. Where's he at? Damn, level forty. I am beating ass right now. So, uh, yeah, like I said. Try not to, try not to ask too many questions about my son. I don't really want to answer a lot of them out there because, you know, one of the, one of the scary things is, is about fucking, like, YouTube. If somebody did find out who I was, 
And, you know, they fucking wanted to fucking, you know, find my son and try to rape him in the butt. That would be bad. All right. Hey, there we go. There we go. But, yeah, any type of information anybody would have about him would be like, oh, yeah, well, I know your dad, you know, fucking, I know all this shit about him, you know, because I put so much of myself out there that it wouldn't be hard to impersonate somebody that fucking, you know, knows me. That's, uh, that's the real truth about it. That's really fucking scary. And th there are people out there that are like that, too, so don't, don't sleep on that. There are some pretty fucked up people out there. Let's, uh, let's keep moving on, though. Let's keep... You know what? Let's fuck up with these guys. Let's grab some XP. They're higher in level than us, and... Damn, see? We're, we're doing pretty good here. Oh, shit. Where they at? Where they... I hear Rack! What do you hear, Rack? That means it's time to go. Hey! Oh, you scumbag! Woo! Did he take my money? Did he take any money off me? I'm not sure. I'm not fucking sure. So, yeah! Let's move on! Let's move on to the next question from Warped Players. He says, hey Jay, how you doing? Chilling, man. Chilling. He says, I got two questions. How long have you and your girlfriend been together now? We've been together for just short of uh, five years now, something like that. Pretty long. We've been together for a pretty long time now. And he says, what is your favorite series you've ever done on your channel? Uh, even though it's not the, not the best series I've ever done on my channel, my favorite is probably my walkthrough of Spider-Man. I like that game. It was a really fun game, and I think I had a lot of fun playing that shit. I think it was... Uh, it was amazing. It was it was one of the one of the games that I actually used to get a lot of experience on Let's Play. So uh, it, it holds that and Lollipop Chainsaw. Those were two damn good series. I wish they got more views because I had a lot of fun with them. So uh, Willow says, "Which is worse, when a friend moves away, or losing touch with a good friend who lives right near you?" Uh. Both of them suck. But I think when a friend lives near you and fucking you lost touch, that uh that kind of sucks because it pretty much means they don't want to be your friend anymore. And if they don't want to be your friend anymore, that's uh pretty shitty, but you know, people moving away and you know, losing touch, that that shit happens when people move away. So, you know, it's pretty much something you have to expect when somebody moves, but when you lose touch with somebody in fucking in your town that's a uh, it's pretty shitty isn't it and you know there there are there are quite a few friends that i haven't talked to in a very long time but every now and then you know we seem to catch up with each other and uh it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i still have a lot of fucking friends that i've known for a very long time like one of my one of my best friends jack i've known him since like fucking what like ninth grade in high school and we still hang out. He actually lives like fucking five, ten minutes from me right now. He actually moved down here to where me and another one of his friends live because it's it's actually cheaper where I live because it's uh you know the higher up North Jersey you get fucking you know I guess when you go up to like Montclair area that's when you get into like the really area uh oh shit no don't you do it don't you do it fuck you you scumbag. Woo! Oh! Oh, yeah! I got one for everybody. Oh, I don't have one for you. Sorry, I lied. Oh, it's another one! Hey! I'm getting gearboxed right now. Oh! I have no idea what that was, but it was fucking awesome. It was cool as shit what happened. Oh, yeah, boy. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. So, fucking... Where is it at? Uh, VL Sting says, uh, he's the one that asked about going back to exes, exes, ex fucking girlfriends, boyfriends, shit like that. Uh, he says he knows people that have been together six or seven different times. Well, like I said, you can't go back. It always changes the relationship. And the fact that they've, they've been together six or seven different times proves me right. Proves me right. Because if things were going to be fine, they wouldn't have to keep getting together and getting back together. So one of the times one of these fucking assholes is going to realize 
that this shit is poison. He probably shouldn't fucking... Where the hell is he? Where did he go? Show yourself. Hey. There you go. Come on! I, I don't think you can melee him when they're fucking invisible. What the fuck? I'm just... I, I'm, I'm going. I'm not, I'm not fucking with you no more. You want to fight me? You come fight me. You know where I'm going to be. But you know what? I'm everywhere. You ain't never there. So, fuck you. Uh, VL Stang, yeah. Like I said, if, if things were going to be fine and they were going to be all hunky-dory, then them motherfuckers wouldn't be getting together and fucking back to, not together, fucking together. You know what I mean? It fucking... It, it sucks, but I mean... It, that, that's that's the reality of the situation. Once somebody fucks up the fucking relationship, it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. That sucked balls. We are way under level. Wow, wow. So let's move on. Murray Monster says, Mac, yo, what's up? What's going on, man? He says, if you could be any animal in the world, what would you be? I would be a man beast. Uh, what I mean by a man beast, I would be a caveman. That way I could spend my days just roaming the fucking wilderness, living in caves, the way humans were meant to live. And he says, what powers would you have? Animals don't have powers, motherfucker! How would I, how would I be, how, like, I would be a lion that shoots fucking lasers from his eyes. No, motherfucker, that shit, that shit don't happen. My regular guns aren't going to be anything against these robots. I need to get my work done. With the melee, baby. The melee. Oh, you. God damn it. Fucking scumbag piece of shit. Can I, can I knock that out? Oh, you. Fucking piece of shit, Creek. Oh. Oh. All right. So, Silence the Voices is not helping out right now. And neither, neither are these motherfuckers. Come on, where are they at? All these fucking hot loaders. Hey. Yeah, buddy boy. All of you guys are gonna die. Boom, baby! Oh! Oh, you fucking whore. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, this, uh, this pistol actually is doing a little bit of work. Maybe, maybe I could use this submachine gun. Maybe it'll help. Uh, not very much. It's raid ball status right now, but... It's, oh, it's a TDR. Alright. Don't mind- Oh, it went through his legs, you scumbag TDR. Look at this. Oh, where's that motherfucker at? Come on. Where did he fucking go? Oh, there he is. He's up there. Boom, baby. There we go. Alright. So we are level 37. Whooping ass on our way to fucking- Oh, I fell. Oh, look. We're gonna make it anyway. Let's, uh... We missed this jump last time doing this. Oh, we made it. Fucking A. Now we can get some good fucking weapons from this box up here. See what we get. Burst, fire, terror. See, everything we get's always fucking, man, that's bullshit. It's always above our level. Always. So, uh, the next question's from Bob Billy. He says, how did you and Itani start talking because you both upload entirely different games? Uh, I was Itani's boss. <laughs> And I use that term loosely. Uh, he signed up for TGN and got partnered with them uh, around the same time that I did. But I was made manager of TGN Sports uh, specifically because I was actually friends with the guy who uh, ran TGN. His name was George, George Vanos. And uh, he, he trusted me to run it. He thought, uh, you know, I talked to him, gave him my ideas for how I plan to grow channels on YouTube. And uh, he liked it. He liked what I had to say. So fucking... Uh, I became manager of fucking TGN Sports. And then I actually ended up becoming like a general fucking manager for fucking TGN in general. But, uh, you know, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that because that's a dark time in my YouTube period. Oh, shit. Fuck was that? Fucking hit an exploder, man. Woo. Am I going to hit? Nope. But I could do this again, baby. But, uh, yeah, I was the manager of TGN Sports. He was the director for, like, two videos before he realized that his channel was doing a lot better than fucking anything TGN could offer him. So he went back to upload it on his channel, and he was right. His channel's fucking... His channel's a beast, man. 
You you won't find another channel on YouTube that's like Itani, man. Like he literally gets fucking. He has like the most loyal fucking subscribers, man. The fact that you're on my channel asking about Itani just because you know I mentioned his name shows how loyal his subscribers are. It's pretty fucking cool. So, uh, anybody that likes Itani is cool in my book because, like I said, Itani's a beast. He's a literal beast. Hey, stop it! Don't you do it! You scumbag. No! Ooh, alright. No. That's not gonna give me any XP either. Fucking poop ball. So, uh. Yeah, let's move on. We gotta fucking go up here on this goddamn show. Can I hit him? Hey! Look at this guy running around here like he fucking owns the place. Whoppa! Oh, you smart motherfucker! God damn it, sometimes the AI just doesn't work out in my motherfucking favor. So, what is, what is fucking hitting me? Jesus Christ, can I hit him from up here? Hey, is that gonna hit? Oh, damn, Krieg is strong though, he really is. That's not gonna hit shit. Let's just get the fuck up on this platform. Oh, what the fuck, man? Something's still hitting me. Oh, look, this guy jumped down here, too. Fuck it. I'll take your extra XP, bitch. Where's... Oh, shit, there it is. Thank you. Come again. So, yeah, that, that's how we met. We met on TGN Sports. Uh, He had, like, 2,000 subscribers, and now he's over 100,000, and I'm... I'm I'm very happy with uh, the way Itani's channel worked out because there, there's there's no other person on YouTube that deserves as much as that guy fucking deserves, man. And you know, he's just the, he's been a really cool guy. He's been a really good friend ever since I met him. So, uh, let's move on. Sporty Sausage says somebody offered you a hundred thousand dollars to sell your channel. Would you do it? Hell fucking yeah. I would just start another one. Why not? I'd tell you all you guys on Twitter. Be like, hey, come over to my new channel. Fucking, I have fucking a lot of money to give away shit now. <laughs> and I would have the money to ship it too. To the UK. So fuck yeah. Why the fuck wouldn't you? There's nothing I own that I wouldn't sell for a hundred motherfucking thousand dollars. That is the real truth. And the next question is from the badass cat. The badass cat says... Jay, what is the scariest moment of your life? Uh, I, I don't know. I think probably the, the the time I got a call saying that my fucking fiance died. That that was pretty scary right there. That was pretty shitty. I don't ever want to go through anything like that ever fucking again. That's the God's honest. Oh shit! Hey, come on, bitch! Die, motherfucker! But yeah, like I said, that was a that was a pretty shitty day. I'm gonna mark that one down as a, you know, one that I would like to take a mulligan on. Like honestly, I, I try to I try to make light of it because it, it really fucking it does hurt, man. It does, but that's just life. There's things in life that are gonna happen that's really gonna fucking really affect the rest of your life, and it's just it's crazy. It's crazy how much one person can affect the life of another human being. Or even, like, multiple human beings. Because, like, you know, if she had never passed away, I would never be here right now doing videos for you guys. I would still be fucking, you know, being with her and shit. And I'd be out in California. I would have never started YouTube. Because, you know, I fucking... I originally started playing video games again because I was fucking severely depressed. I didn't fucking want to do shit, man. I didn't fucking... I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to fucking... You know, see anybody. I didn't want to fucking hang out with friends. It was a, it was a really shitty fucking time in my life. And, you know, I don't want to ever fucking go back to that. But, you know, that's fucking life, isn't it, man? That's what... Oh, shit. Uh, what is that? That's not going to be good. I'm not going to be able to get up from this. Fuck! I need to keep my distance and just throw axes at him then. So, uh, I thought I'd be able to tank him up, but it wasn't working. So... EM Italy has the next question. He says, Jay, is there any phrase or word that you just hate what people say? Uh, not really. 
Not really, man. Just I, I don't I don't really get bothered by words. Words don't bother me. They're just words. So when somebody says something about me, it's like whatever. Fuck you, man. You know, chances are I probably could whoop the shit out of you. Uh, you should probably be fucking. You know, I guess. 100% fucking happy that I don't whoop the shit out of you, I guess. <laughs> That's just how I've always been, man. It's just how I've always been. Oh, shit. Wow! Jesus Christ. This is not good. What is that? What the fuck was that? This motherfucker just brought tentacles up, whipping around, and I couldn't hit him. So, uh, let's move on to the next question. Levita says... Has your road to 30 sparked a lot of old memories that maybe you've forgotten about? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. And that, it really does, uh, that does affect me sometimes. Like, sometimes when I go to do my road to 30, I'm just like, man, you know, I don't want to talk about this shit. Sometimes, sometimes it's just, it gets like that. And that's how, uh, that's how it is, man. So what, what do we got here? We got nothing really worth using. So, uh... Slag Rifle, level 34. This might be alright. Let's go ahead with the Slag. What else do I got? Do I have anything that's my level? 30, 35, 36? Just the Torment, huh? Oh, wait! Oh, I don't have the Order of Shield anymore. God damn it! Motherfucker. I got the Drooby Droog. That Drooby Droog's not gonna help me out too much right now. And a cruddy red -a -ta Uh, what do I got here? Let's go ahead and switch out my pistol for the cruddy red -a -ta See if that helps me out any. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Fucking. I, I, I think, uh. I, I think some of the, some of the memories that I have dragged up in my road to 30 has been a little, uh. A little fucked up, really. Uh, sometimes you, you don't realize how much things affect you. Until you actually fucking like go back and look onto it, and you're like, man, you know, this is that really did affect me pretty fucking damn good. Like, it's just, it's weird, isn't it? I think it is. I think it's weird. So let's go and kill these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers are the one doing the fucking damage here. Whoop. All right. Let's see if we can't fucking. Yeah, let's let's go in for that hit. Oh shit. Let's let's. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit! Let's uh, let's get up in on him, cause if he's gonna fucking, he's gonna kill us. He's gonna put us down anyway. So fuck you. Come back up, bitch. Oh, you're not gonna come back up right here, are you? No. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. So we're having a pretty rough time, rough time right now. And uh, KV twenty three seventy three says, Jesus Christ, Jay. What house are you buying that's worth $500,000? I didn't say I'm buying a house worth $500,000. That was the question. If I had a million dollars, what the fuck would I do? And I would, uh, I would buy a house that's worth five hundred. This has a shitty chance to slag. Holy shit. Fuck this piece of shit. Uh, wh what do we got here? Do we got 2300 What is that? What is that Jericho? That's not too good. Slag rifle, rake hell. That's not very good either. Let's just, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of snipping. Let's do a little bit of snipping for you and for me and everybody that wants my skill tree. Boop. That is, uh, not working out too well. I'll tell you that much. Um, uh, actually, it's not doing too bad. Alright. That should have killed him. That's bullshit. Where is this fucking thresher at? Hey! Let's just throw all my grenades at him. See how he likes that. Let's see, let's see what he does with that. Hey! That motherfucker just brought his health, his shield back up. What a scumbag. Yeah, there we go. Woo, alright, that's not really working out too well, but it's doing better than the fucking previous last few times of doing this shit. So let, let's wait for this fucking Thresher to bring his ass back up here. Oh shit! He doesn't like it! He doesn't like it! He can't hit me! He's freaking out! Oh, uh, glitch spot, baby! Crimson Death! He, uh, 
This is like fucking Terramorphous here. I like it. I like it. Can he hit me here? Yeah, he can. But I can, I can rush in and hit him. Oh, shit. Uh, can we can we get the kill here? Oh, baby! Fucking A! Happy! Mother! Fucking! Ah, oh, you scumbag piece of shit, Krieg. Yeah, baby! Woo! Alright! I know you guys are like, Jesus Christ, Mac, why don't you just go do some side missions and level up? Well, this is what I do, baby. I fucking... I, I think I handled myself all right here for being four or five levels underneath. That was uh, pretty good, but look, we're almost level 38, so that's uh, that's not too bad. So Crimson Death says, how are you going to do a QA and a if you get 100 million, uh, 1 million subscribers? Um, I don't think I'm going to get 1 million subscribers anytime soon, so I don't really have to worry about that. Don't really have to worry. So uh, he says... Also, why do you split the Q&As into two parts? Because it takes longer to upload one two and a half hour video than it does to upload two one hour fucking videos. It, it doesn't make sense, but that's just how it is because YouTube processes the videos a little bit faster. So, let's uh... That's not good. That's definitely not good. But we need to get back to Sanctuary and... That way is not gonna help us at all. So we're gonna we're gonna have to go ahead and see what we can do about. Let, let's get over here real quick, so he can't shoot us. Let's see, what do we got? Tactical Dominator. That's pretty shitty. What do we got here? Drooby Droog. That's yeah, uh, not very good either. Electrified Torment. I guess we'll just go back to this beast here. That's not really doing much work either. Uh, Alright, new game plan. We are going to just rush in. We're gonna, we're hoping for the best here. We are hoping for the best, people. So, don't, don't fucking get on my case if this shit doesn't work. Alright, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. That didn't work either. Um, it's not gonna work. It's not going to do enough. Alright, so we are probably not going through that area right now. I'm just saying. So, uh, next question. Next question is from Smashfella. He says, why is your language so horrible? Yo or Master Kids don't swear. No wonder no one plays with you. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Fucking go watch Yo and Master Kids then. And for the, for the record, they pretty much, I'm uh, pretty sure... Yo, Slayer and Master Kids both swear. I'm pretty sure I've heard both of them swear in their videos at least once. So you're fucking, you're wrong, buddy. You're wrong. Don't fucking give me that bullshit. Don't give me the bullshit. Baby. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I said, if you don't like it, go watch somebody else. Why are you on my videos complaining about my personality? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Like, seriously. Go fuck yourself, man. Fucking, that's, that's all I gotta say to you. That's all I gotta say. Go fuck yourself. Seriously, that's just, it's just me. If you don't like me being me, then don't watch me. That that makes sense, doesn't it? Like, I, I don't understand how hard it is to fucking comprehend that. If you don't like me, then don't like me. Hey. I want to get in there. I'm going to get in there. No, that's not going to get me in there. Come on. We're going to we're gonna bring this fucking truck here somewhere. Shut up, Angel. I'm, I'm fucking trying to get this truck back there. Can I go back here? Ooh, what about through here? Can we, can we make that? No, we can't make that. Can we blow that up? It looks like we could blow it up, but there's a tombstone here. That's the Zaffords. They did a good job blocking us off, but I know you can get a vehicle back there. I know for a fact. I've seen it. I've seen it. Let's see if we can't get this back here. Uh, nope. 
So maybe it involves jumping off something here. Is there any good ramps? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. So, actually, what if we just did this? That happens. Alright, at least we know what happens when we do that. So, this is going to be a bitch. Alright, a bitch. And uh, to, to your other comment there, Mr. Smash fella, uh, he says, no wonder no one plays with you. Bitch, I play solo, motherfucker. I am a solo player. This is why I play single player games. If I wanted to play multiplayer, you know, I'd go and fucking wreck you in Battlefield or something. That's, that's what I do, baby. That's what I do. I put up plenty of videos of me wrecking in first person shooters. But no, it's just fucking, this is a relaxing game. Something I do. You know, I don't play with people very often. I don't even play with people on my friends list very often. So, don't give me that shit, motherfucker. Alright, so, let's move on. Jokesta. Let's, let's, uh... Yeah, there we go, buddy. Get away from my shit! Get away from my shit! Oh, you scumbag. Whoop, alright. <laughs> so, hopefully we can just keep doing this. And fucking killing bitches. Alright! Working out pretty well so far. Let's toss one of these bitches out here. Woo! Let's uh let's move on though. Let's get to the next question. Next question's from Jokester. He says, What's up, Mac? Uh I'm chilling. He says, uh, what do you think of the Heat Spurs game seven? Um I think it was bullshit because they're wow, get back here, motherfucker. Can I get to you first? No. That's poop. That's poop that they make the enemies run away from you. They should chill near you. They should be like, hey, come here. Especially Krieg. Especially Krieg. He's built for melee, motherfucker. So, I think there shouldn't have been a game seven. I think the, I think the, uh, the Spurs got cheated out in game six at the end there. Just to bring it into overtime. Probably sell a little bit more fucking seats. What do you see in game six when all those fucking Miami fans were leaving and shit? Fucking, that's when the NBA made the call. They are like, dude, refs, make them fucking lose. We need them to lose. They can't fucking... They, we gotta have a game seven. We need it for fucking, you know, money, revenue, fucking... You know, people... The, the NBA is, isn't the NBA that it once used to be, man. It once used to be a powerhouse fucking corporation. And now it's pretty, uh... Now it's pretty like it's third rate, really. You don't you don't have superstars like Michael Jordan and shit anymore. Fucking God damn it! You scumbag! Piss! Really? I swear to God. Yeah, I will repair the beacon as soon as these motherfuckers are out of here, bitch. All right? I can't I can't repair the beacon with these motherfuckers all up in my face, man. All up in. So uh. He said, can you say McNugget? No! I'm not gonna say McNugget. Uh, I, I've given my last McNugget on my channel with that Road to 30. And I don't ever want to say his fucking name again. So, fuck that motherfucker. Let's, uh, let's move on. Pissed Master says, uh, God damn it, what is shooting my shit? What is shooting my shit? There we go, come on. Can I hit that? There we go. So let's... Yeah, no shield for you, motherfucker. Motherfucking silence the voices. I would be a lot better off if it wasn't for fucking silence the voices. I swear to fucking God. But then it, I wouldn't be able to have my massive uh, melee damage. I need my massive melee damage because I'm under fucking level. Let's... Can I repair it from down here? Yep. Fuck. Me. Holy shit! That is terrifying! That is utterly fucking terrifying! Wow! These motherfuckers just... They... I got gang raped by an ass ton of fucking exploders! Holy shit, man! Get out of here! You don't get to do that! You're not gonna get it off this time, baby! I'm gonna kill all you motherfuckers! So, where is that? Oh, look! You're gonna die too, bitch! Thank you! Uh... Pissmaster's question says, have you ever been to Chula Vista, San Diego? No, I have not. I have never been to San Diego in my life. Uh, I'm, I'm all about NorCal 
and like some of the, like bottom of NorCal. That's my that's my area, man. That's where I that's where I fucking stop grounds. <laughs> it's my stopping ground. So let's uh motherfucker. Let's Jesus Christ. All right, let's uh. You know what? Should we? Should we? Just because we can't, we can't melee yet. What's what does this do again? All damage you, you take is reduced. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. We're going back to light the fuse. I know that's stupid, but it's probably gonna piss me off more than anything. But uh. Yeah, Pissed Master's next question is, if you could have a beer with anybody from American, well, actually, anybody dead or alive, or real or not, who would it be? I would have a beer with Abraham Lincoln, because Abraham Lincoln was a boss. He, he's done a lot of great things for the world. Not just our country, but the world, man. He turned America into, into a modern, civilized union, you know? That's fucking, that's amazing that one man lays that clean. You know what I mean? That's crazy talk. So, oh, hey! Hey! Stop it! Don't you do it! Thank you! Fuck! God damn it! They keep taking out that beacon way too fucking early. I need the beacon to stay up. Where's it at? Come on, bitch. Yeah! Woo! You see how fucking, how fast they're taking down that fucking beacon though? I can't compete with that. Let's uh, let's go get some grenades, fuck it. Spend some fucking money here. Let's go, let's go bitches. Alright. Ah! Get away from my beacon. Level 39, I can deal with that. Oh shit. Let's uh, let's get this guy out of here. Fuck you pussy. Yeah, bitch. How is it that these fucking goddamn loaders are fucking me up when I can fucking knock out a constructor before he even fucking hits me? Bullshit! That's what should happen when fucking Silence the Voices doesn't kick in. I should be kicking ass, but instead, I'm getting my ass kicked. Fuck you, Gearbox. See? I knew it! Uh, stop talking to me! Fucking asshole. So... Uh, the next question is a simple one. It's from Strandi. He says, how are you doing? I'm doing alright, man. How are you doing? And uh, the next question is from Crazy Dude. He says, Jay, do you or have you ever owned a firearm? Yes. Yes, I do. I own a... Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? I own a 9mm Beretta 92FS. Oh, you scumbag. And I also own a baby Browning. I don't know if you know what that is. It's like a little 25 fucking millimeter handgun. It's fucking not the biggest in the world. It gets the job done if you need it in a pinch. It's called Peggy Sue, baby. That's what they call them things. Peggy Sue because they fit right in your shoe. That's the that's pretty true. It's pretty true. So, uh, yeah. Uh, he also says, what are your thoughts on gun control in America? I'm not answering that. I told you I don't get into politics. Uh, next question is from Borderlands 2 for days. He says, will you ever do a draw my life? You don't have to be a good artist to make one. You sound like you have an interesting life. Why would I need to do that? I have my fucking road to 30, man. I don't need to do a draw my life. Fucking, my shit is more original than that fucking piece of shit anyway. So, Renz Ver Burlo says, Jay, if they ever put a bridge from New Jersey to Amsterdam... Will you make an exception and come smoke with me? Hell no, motherfucker! You're not gonna get me. Hey! What? What do we do? What do we do? What do I do? Um, this isn't working. This ain't good. Yeah, light the fuse sucks balls! Like the fuse sucks the big ones. So, uh, no, hell no, motherfucker. I am not riding the bridge three days across the ocean. If I'm afraid to fly six hours across the ocean, what the fuck makes you think I'm gonna ride a bridge through the ocean? That's fucking, that's ridiculous. It's 
fucking ridiculous. So, rah, let's go. Let's go. Let's kill that motherfucking surveyor real quick. Come on. There we go. No shield for you, bitch. Oh, shit. This isn't going to be good. Come on. Right in your crit spot. This is this sucks balls. Wow, so bad. I wish there was a respec station. I don't want that. I could have done better meleeing them from my knees. I am not putting light diffuse on again. I thought it would work because you know maybe I could run away, fucking catch up to somebody. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to melee in light diffuse, and obviously I'm not. So I was mistaken. I was mistaken. Let's uh. Fuck this motherfucker. This. Wow. Boom, bitch. I'll take out the rest of your body. I already took your arm off. Yeah, fuck you. That's what he just said. <laughs> so, uh. Sir Scratchlot says, uh, do you work out? If you do, what do you work? Uh, no. I don't work out. Fucking. The, the most, the most fucking exercise I'll ever get intentionally is swimming. Fucking, I like swimming, but sitting around lifting a bunch of weights, I did enough of that shit back in fucking high school, and it was stupid then, and it's stupid now. I don't give a fuck if somebody's like, oh, you got muscles, you got muscles, fuck yeah, I don't need muscles, bitch, I'd lift the transmission up by my goddamn self, can you lift the transmission up by yourself, and that's funny, because like, most of these fucking dudes, I know some big, strong motherfuckers, and they can't do that fucking, like, type of shit, man. They're, they can lift, but they can only lift in certain positions, like squatting and fucking, you know, I guess, what do you call that? Oh, we did it. We did it. They they fucking do the lifting with the squatting and the fucking, um, I guess, what is that? Fucking chest press, bench press, bench press and all that shit. And when it comes down to real life shit, you ask them to help you pick up a motor or put a transmission in. And when they're fucking trying to fucking pick that shit up and put it on your shoulder, they don't know what the fuck to do. They don't know how to lift that shit up, man. They can't. They're all fucking like, oh my god, you know, this doesn't have an easy way to grip it. Well, motherfucker, that shit's gonna cut into your hand. Did you bring gloves? No, you didn't bring gloves. Well, guess what? You're gonna get cuts on your hands. That's a, that's how working on cars and shit is. So, uh, as far as, hmm, you got a nice bit of fucking XP there, but as far as fucking like, uh, what do you call that? You know, I guess lifting for on purpose? You don't need to, man. Stay active. Stay active and fucking, you know, lift up some real shit, man. Like, go, go fucking, go help somebody move. Carrying, like, TVs and couches and shit. Learning how to carry real shit will fucking, will help you out more in life than knowing how to fucking bench press. You ain't gonna make no fucking... You ain't gonna make no money bench pressing, but you will make money putting transmissions in somebody's fucking car. So, a lot of my lot, a lot of my life revolves around making money. Have you noticed that? And that's because I grew up poor. So I do everything possible in my life to make sure that I can make as much money to make sure that my family is well set off before I pass on this earth. So, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. We're actually we're gonna end this episode here in Sanctuary. We're gonna do. What I like to call rapid fire questions at the end of the second episode, where we go through the last bunch of questions and we try to answer them as fast as I can because, uh, you know, we've been doing this for a pretty long time right now and I have under leveled my ass off and we need to do some side missions. And I don't think, do I have any side missions in here that I can do? Actually, you know what? I think, I think Tannis has one in here that will give me a nice bit of XP. Where are you at, baby? What's up? Uh, Hidden journals. I thought this was going to be torture chairs. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. Let's, let's fuck it. Come on. Talk to me, bitch. So, uh, the next question is from One Low Hit. He says, Jay, there's a, there's a band, I mean, there's a show called Metal Locker Lips on Adult Swim. I'm well aware of that. He says, and it's about a band called Death Clock. He's like, I'm wondering if you thought the band, uh, what you thought about the band, because I personally think it's a great band, but they seem kind of a joke. Uh, that's what, the, that's what they are. Oh, wow, I don't want to go to the wildlife preservation. Fuck that shit. 
Uh, I think... What What is over here, though? What is over here? Is this, uh... Is this the law quest yet? Do I have... I don't think I have the order quest open yet, do I? Mighty Morphin? No, that's over there. Yeah, I have Scooters, Marcus, Claptrap Stash. Uh, you know what? Let's go do Claptrap Stash real quick. Just for the fuck of it, because, you know, it's fucking Claptrap. Why not? So, yes, they are a joke band. They're kind of like Spinal Tap. They, they actually made the band for the show, and they actually got some people... Pretty sure, I forget who actually does it, but it's kind of like Tenacious D. It's a... Uh, not very, not very serious. It's just for fun, man. But they do have some good music, though. But, uh, Olu Jimmy Ford says, Hey, Jay, what was your favorite console or system? And that's Super Nintendo. Uh, the Vilikov says, Mac, you're a really intelligent man. You probably would be a successful man if you had a different childhood. Do you regret how your childhood went? No, I don't regret how my childhood went. And I would consider myself successful right now. I'm 30 years old. I am on my way to owning my own house. I will have a Corvette next year. Uh, I actually fucking run my own business. Uh, I'm with my girlfriend for five years. We have a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice house and some pretty nice things together. And also fucking, I guess you could say I run two businesses because my YouTube channel is pretty much like running a business. I mean, I do it every day. I fucking, you know, I put up a lot of fucking videos and it makes a little bit of money. It doesn't make a lot of money. But you know what? It's still, it's still successful. Yeah, let's, let's give you five. Go ahead. Ow. There we go. Oh yeah, I got my achievement for it too. That's pretty cool. So, uh, let's move on. Uh, MSFT Kilroy says, Mac, Blue Crab or Dungeness? Why are you invisible? Yeah, I know. I don't want to do this mission either, but fuck it. It's free XP, so I like all crabs, man. All types of crabs, and I like. Actually, I don't like bush crabs. <laughs> if you don't know what bush crabs are, good. Uh, bush crabs are something that should should be eradicated by now. Uh, I don't think crabs. Well, crabs probably do exist because there are nasty motherfuckers out there with lice in their pubic hair. And that's fucking gross. That's fucking disgusting. So, uh. I like a woman with nips, <laughs> says, uh, Jay, will you ever stop doing YouTube and move on with your life? Uh, the, YouTube won't last forever, I can tell you that, so I'll do YouTube as long as YouTube has me. How do you, how do you like that? Uh, Donnie Heron says, hey, Jay, what do you think about people yelling at little kids on Xbox Live? Uh, I think he's, oh, yeah, on Xbox Live videos. He's talking about fucking, what do I think about people that do troll videos and shit like that? I think it's pathetic. I think if you can't find any other way to entertain your subscribers than bullying kids online, then you probably, uh, you're probably a loser. You're probably a piece of shit. And if you ever treated my son like that online and put it up on YouTube in a video and I find out about it, I got, I got a little bit of money saved. I, I, I will hop on a plane and I will come and kick that person's ass. I have no problem with that. Fucking, and if they're in fucking, and if they're in Europe or something, then I'll pay a subscriber to kick their ass or shit on their porch. Either one is funny. <laughs> so, uh, VL Stang is back. He says, uh, congrats on 40,000 subs. Do you have any plans on calling your subs something or will it just be subs? Uh, well, it seems my subscribers have taken on the name and they like it as motherfuckers. So my subscribers are known to me as motherfuckers. So what is up? Motherfucker. And, uh, Raffle Badger says, Have you seen any of the scary movie films? Yes, yes I have. He said, Which is your favorite? Uh, I think scary movie... Wasn't it two? With Take My Little Hand. Yeah. And where the dude fucking, yeah, Smokey gets rolled up and smoked by the pot plant. That shit was genius. It was fucking brilliant. So, uh, Simon SP92 says, Do you mispronounce acts like acts on purpose? No, that is just how I talk, man. It's my fucking accent. It's where I'm from. You know? Let's move on. Uh, Master Creeper Slayer says, Uh, why don't you pick up car skins? Because car skins are worthless and you can't save, you know, a, say if I pick the car skin with Lilith's bikini, right? And then I want to go and use it every time I play. You can't save your car skin. 
So it's pointless, and I'm not spending each time I fucking spawn a car to change my goddamn car skin. So I don't, I don't bother picking them up. I don't bother picking them up. Mm, says that's his name. I'm not lying. It's mm, M M M M M M M M M six sixty four. Says, why don't you play Call of Duty anymore? Uh, the only Call of Duty I really ever played extensively was uh, Modern Warfare two. I did get the level fifteen prestige in Black Ops, but the only reason I played Black Ops was because that was what all my friends were playing at the time, and I didn't really play seriously. I just played for fun, and you know, it got a little ridiculous. I didn't fucking, I didn't like that they were putting all this lag compensation bullshit in there to give people a fucking, you know, oh, your fucking internet's bad, so you should have a handicap. No, my internet's better, so I should be fucking you up. But it doesn't happen like that. So, uh. Clutch354 says, do you like Kid Cootie's music? Uh, I don't know who the fuck that is. Martin488 says, how did you start saying fucking all the time? It's hilarious, though. Uh, grow up in New Jersey, man. Grow up in New Jersey. Uh, Felicity Clan says, why do you say water weird? Grow up in New Jersey, man. Grow up in New Jersey. Uh, Ryan Cora says, yo, Mac, what do you do when life gives you lemons? You take them and you find somebody that wants lemonade and you sell it to them. That's what you do. And then you take that money and you buy something you really fucking want. That's what I do in life. That's what I do, baby. I fucking, you know, I make money. That, that's what I, that's my purpose on this earth. Is my, my family's poor. So my purpose is to make sure before I die, my family is no longer poor and that they have a good bit of money to be left with before I die. So. Uh, moving on. XVADJ7 says, Have you ever had second thoughts about doing a YouTube channel? Uh, sometimes it gets annoying, but that's when I just turn off my computer and walk away. It's as easy as that, man. It's as easy as that. If YouTube ever got to the point to where I was like, Man, fuck this. I just, I just wouldn't make videos anymore. It's that easy, you know? Fucking, you don't, you don't fucking have to make videos. You do it because you want to. So, if YouTube ever became to the point to where... You know, I felt like I didn't want to do it anymore, then I'm not going to do it. But I do it because I like it. And, you know, sometimes there's some annoying things that happen with uh, YouTube, but that's all right. Because everything has a downside. There's nothing that's flawless in this world. And, you know, getting away from YouTube is easy. I shut off my computer and go in my fucking living room. So, uh, Twisted Bacon says, Jay, is your avatar based off what you actually look like? Yes, yes it is. Uh... Next question's from Skull to Skull Torrible. Jay, do you know what an esky is? No, I don't. He says, I'm from Australia, and it's the word for a cool box. So uh, he said, we put beers and water in them for, like, a party, and we put ice at the bottom of it. That, in America, my friend, is called a cooler. We call those coolers. It's probably called an esky in your country because that might be the uh, brand that popularized them in your country. So uh, Rohan Len says... What's up? I got two questions for you. What's your favorite movie and TV series? Shawshank Redemption and Law and Order. He says, have you watched, uh, oh, oh, have I watched and what is my opinion on Red vs. Blue? I have no idea what the fuck that is. And he says, what about the people at Rooster Teeth? Uh, they're people. I don't know. I don't watch them. Fucking, I don't watch YouTube, man. I don't. I just fucking, I make videos. That's about... The only videos I watch on YouTube are people hurting themselves in cars. Cars, too. Fucking Chrissy Kin said, Jay, do you prefer older or younger women or doesn't it matter? Uh, I don't think age matters to me. It's not very important. As long as they're of age and I can't go to jail for it, I'm fine with it. But uh, the, the thing is, is I like women that don't play games. That's not trying to fuck with your head, man. And you, usually... Usually that's younger chicks that fucking always want to fuck with your head. They want to play games. They want to try to use you for money. And they don't realize that, you know, if you get two people together and you love each other and you're living together, it doesn't matter how much fucking money you have because now there's two people living in that one house. And even if you both make shitty money, you'll be able to make do because you have two fucking, you know, people that's able to work. So, you know, bitches, bitches that just want... A dude to fucking take care of them? Uh, no. No. I'm only taking care of a woman if it's a woman I love. And as long as, you know, we've been together for a bit. So, like, you know, if I was with a girl for, like, a week. And I was just fucking her. And she got paralyzed. 
I'd probably break up with her. <laughs> That's fucked up, but yeah, I probably would. I Ain't nobody got time for that shit. So that's pretty much it for this episode. My name is Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. And I'm going to see you guys later.